Hello, my name is Virginia Marquez, and today I will be talking about gaming in the classroom. According to Nguyen, gaming in the classroom isn't just about having fun. Using games in the classroom can help to enhance instruction. But linking the games with the content and having low stakes competitions can provide a more collab collaborative, engaging classroom, especially for students who have difficulties staying stay on track. According to Nguyen 2021, using games in the classroom can help increase the students' participation, foster social and emotional learning, and motivate students to take risks. Games such as Kahoo, quizzes, amongst others, can improve students' attitudes for learning, can motivate the students to learn while they haven't found. The advantages of using games in the classroom are the following. A student can gain critical thinking. It can help a student with the reading comprehension while they have to read the rules and the instructions in order to find out what is in the games or to answer the questions. They are also motivated students and help them with the reading comprehension. It helps the students to understand better the context while they have informed. It helps a student with the technical skills, the digital competence, a helpful problem solving and creative thinking. But as everything, gaming in the classroom also have disadvantages, such as distractions, a student can be distraught too much for the game, not paying attention to the actual goal of the games or the content. It can create a lot of disruption in the classroom. It can create a ripple effect of the opposite that we want to happen. Games have to be aligned with your objectives that we have for our class, for our lesson. Otherwise, it will be not productive. It will be a waste of time. Instructional gaming has to be goal-oriented, aligned with the standard and the context that we teach. They have to be motivated, motivated students enough for them to want to learn. And beneficial. Beneficial understand the true foster learning at all times, at all costs. It is about learning while they haven't found. When using games in the classroom, I always make sure that the goal of the games aligns with the lesson. I link the game with instructions and content to obtain better results. I believe that games have to be beneficial to the student's learning process. Otherwise, they are pointless. If the games do not foster learning and a student ability to understand the content being taught, then using games defeats the purpose in my opinion, because they will be a distraction instead of a learning tool. And with that, I just want to say thank you and goodbye.